Hey there, this is Votek, or you can call me Wizard from the Resno 4, Resno 5 PC mining forms. Today I'm going to be making a hopefully quick and brief video tutorial on how to make reskins in Resident Evil 5 using Adobe Photoshop. Uh, I'm going to be using Adobe Photoshop CS5, but you can use uh, obviously earlier or later versions, assuming there are later versions. They pump them all like crazy, so I'm sure there probably is. Um, so, obviously, the first thing you need is uh, Resident Evil 5. PC installation, and you're going to need the ARC tool and Adobe Photoshop if you're going to follow this tutorial. So the very first thing you're going to need to do is go to your Resident Evil 5 installation, um, a native PC image and archive. Um, to navigate this folder a lot easier, I would recommend making your view list so it spreads things out a lot better. And the uh, players are near the end of it if you organize them by name and you're going to want I'm going to be making a Sheva uh, pants change just for something easy I'm going to take uh, PL1 Sheva normal this is just for normal BSC outfit without any vests on so I'm going to copy that I'm going to paste it into the RC tool I'm going to boot up the RC tool itself Actually, uh, you, you definitely want to have this check mark extract the HERC to its own folder it makes everything a lot more organized and like cleaner uh, you want to click Extract ARC, then go to your, wherever your installation folders for the ARC tool, then PL1 and Shovel Normal, and put your destination. I always put it back into the ARC tool, or ARC tool folder itself. Then it'll extract quickly. Then you open up the new folder, then PON, PL, PL1, then Model. Um, another easier way to navigate this is to right-click or arrange icons by type so it separates all the DSS from the text and all that stuff. And if you have Windows XP, I think there's Windows Vista and Windows 7 version of thumbnails for DSS, which makes seeing what the textures are very quick and easy. So obviously right here is your pants. So I have a sap, so when I double-click it automatically boots it up in Photoshop because I have the uh, I right click properties and then you can select a opens with and change it to any program you want I have mine set to Photoshop okay so obviously as you see here this is BSSA Chavez pants and I'm gonna make do something really simple just like uh, let's say you want to make them purple you can either take the the color tool here itself and color over it but here's something very important about uh, Photoshop you do not want to I think you say op opacity opacity something like that which basically like how strong it is if it's set to if the mode is normal and it's set to 100 it's going to just be a solid color which you obviously do not want it makes it look terrible so I always use uh, soft light and I set to about 40 50 percent and then you can color over it. It looks a lot nicer. It actually still looks like pants rather than a solid color. Then you can go over it a few times. Or, I'm going to undo that. You can use uh, Control Alt U for a shortcut for a hue and saturation thing. And make sure colorize is selected here. And drag this over to like the purple one. As you see, uh, because I didn't bother to select just the pants area with the select tool over here, it's actually going to add it to belt too, which you don't want. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to select just the pants. Control U again. Bring this up. Bring the light, light you back to zero. Put it back over to purplish. And you can use saturation for how strong the coloring is and whatnot. So yeah, that's that's more like pinkish, pinkish purple. I'm going to bring that down a little bit. Okay, that looks decent. Usually I don't make recolors, but this is just a simple tutorial. So, uh, so now you have your edit made. Um, you can check to see what type of DXT format the texture is in. This is actually very important. I would recommend using a hex editor. I use um, HXD. And then you just simply open the hex editor, drag the texture onto it, and it will tell you right here what format it's in. This is crucial for when you're saving the texture in Photoshop. 
Now, if you have Photoshop, you're going to need to install the Photoshop DDS plugin to um, open the texture and save the texture, I should have mentioned it earlier. So now that I made my edit, I'm going to hit Control S for save. And it's going to bring up the DS, D, DDS uh, export little plugin here. As I saw, as you saw in the hex editor, it's DXT1, and this is BM, so you just want the top one. DXT1, no alpha, and just click save. And that's that. So I'm going to minimize all that for now. I'm going to go back to my ARC tool folder. I'm going to pack up that text, pack it up the archive now. It's the folder. You do want to convert to DSS back to text, obviously, so the facts that you change in game. And now I'm going to copy and paste my new archive back into the game. But I'm going to put mine in my modding installation because I don't want to mess up my default game. Okay, I have um, modding game put up in the background. I am going to oh, figurines. And as you see, there you go. This is obviously not exactly great looking, but it's supposed to be a tutorial of how you're supposed to do it. Um, so yeah, that's it for the BM files. Um, I'm going to make another tutorial right now. I'm going to make it as a part two to this, how to make MM and MM. Yeah, MM and NM files. So uh, if you do like a complete texture, new texture, like a whole new pair of pants, you can do the proper lighting file for it and the uh, normal map for it, the NM file. So uh, yeah, I hope you, uh, hope you find this useful if you're new to Skins in RE5, and I'll see you later.